New this morning, Cedarburg about to lose hundreds of trees. Our Julia Fellow sh shares how the invasive emerald ash borer is changing the landscape of that city and how officials hope to stop it. There are 200 ash trees set to be cut down in this Cedarburg forest, costing the city about $17,000. You can see one, two, three set to be cut down within my reach here. And it's all because of the invasive species, the emerald ash borer. We're basically witnessing the loss of an entire species of, of tree in the Midwest. It's a tragedy. It really is. We've lost a lot of trees around here. Kevin Westfall is showing us one of the many ash trees infested with the invasive beetle. The larvae feed in a serpentine pattern back and forth and back and forth. They're starving the root system. It's not like a dead elm that can stand there for years. These, these trees actually start to fall apart and become a hazard. That's something that you probably didn't even realize. Didn't even have a clue. No. Nope. Yeah. Homeowner Will Tesh is about to see the city cut down the ash tree in front of his home. He learned there may have been a way to save it. City leaders are trying this insecticide treatment. Even the treated trees, the, the insects have to eat part of the tree to get to ingest the, the insecticide. So if this was treated, what would be the chance of it um, surviving? Probably around 90%. The city is spending about $50,000 a year to treat more than 1,200 ash trees on major roadways. A far cry from the roughly $1.3 million it would cost to chop them all down. If you're wondering if your tree is infested, now is the perfect time to look for a helpful indicator. Woodpecker activity up in the upper crown is, is the first thing that the foresters look for to see if there's an infestation in the area. For now, Westfall is hoping the treated trees will make it through this wave of beetles. Any tree that hasn't been treated is going to be dead. Julia Fellow, today's TMJ4.